I decided to give the Dashing Diva Gloss Nail Strips another try. I guess maybe when it comes to Dashing Diva, I'm just a glutton for punishment, or maybe I just have a lot of faith. I don't know why, but yeah, I decided to give it a try. I just really want to be able to give myself an at-home manicure and have it last for more than just a couple of days. So I said, here we go, we gotta give it another try. In case you missed it a little while ago, I did give myself an at-home manicure using the Dashing Diva Gloss Nail Strips. It was my first time using nail strips and long story short, I wasn't impressed. If you'd like to see the full story though, you can check out that video, which I've linked in the description box and just watch that though after you watch this one. The main reason I didn't care for the strips and I didn't have a good experience is that they didn't last for the full 14 days as they claimed. They only lasted for six. Yes, six days. I was so disappointed, especially because I had a whole nother box of these strips that I was planning to use afterwards. And I just didn't want them to go to waste. After a while, I came to the conclusion that I might as well just use the last box of strips I had and see if I could find some tips online to make the strips last longer. So I went, I searched YouTube, and I found a lot of tips and tricks, but there were a few that kept being repeated over and over in several of the videos. So I went ahead and noted them because not only were they repeated, but they were also the most successful tips for these people who were doing the reviews, and they also made a lot of sense when I really thought about it. So I took out the Rose Sparkle Gloss Palette Nail Strips from Dashing Diva, and said we're gonna put these on and we're going to use these tips that I found. So before I get into the application and these tips, let me tell you a little bit about Dashing Diva because I did in the last video, um, but I don't think I went into detail of actually the different options of nails that you have with them. Okay, so Dashing Diva is a company that offers easy at home manicures and pedicures using artificial nails. Now these end up looking salon like, like you went to the salon and you got your nails done. Cause I had some people actually think that's what happened when they saw the last strips before they started looking like trash. There are a few different product lines that Dashing Diva has. The first is the Magic Press and they seem to be the type of traditional press on nails that we knew growing up, except these are actually gel nails versus I guess in the past, maybe they were just plastic and they last up to seven days. The second line are their glaze nails and these are also nail strips, but they're gel nail strips. So they have to cure under the light of an LED mini lamp and they do it in just 45 seconds, which doesn't seem like a lot of time. And then once they're done, they can last up to 14 days. The last product line of nails that they have are the gloss and these are the ones that I've been using and they're nail strips that are chip resistant they're easy to apply which I can attest to they really are easy to apply they require zero dry time and they are supposedly lasting up to 14 days but as I said mine only lasted a shorter amount of time six days so when it came to applying my second set of Dash and Diva gloss nail strips here's what I did when I applied them so I started by washing my hands with soap and water which is what I did the last time around this time though, I didn't clean my nails with nail polish remover and alcohol because I knew that the Dashing Diva set included a cleaning pad in the box and so I just used that. Then I went ahead and pushed back my cuticles on both hands and this is where things started to deviate a little bit because I decided to treat my left and right hands a little differently and do an experiment. So on my right hand, I only used three of the tips that I found and I found several different tips. The first tip that I used was completely fold over the excess of the strip before filing off. I didn't do that on all of my nails the first time. I kind of left the excess part of the strip still sitting up. And so I think that it wasn't completely covering my tip by doing that. Also changed how I was filing the excess strip off. So instead of filing side to side, I filed up and down. I saw that in a lot of the videos. And it also makes sense considering once you fold the excess strip down, that's the best way to file it off. Then after I applied the strips and I removed the excess, I went ahead and put a top coat of polish over the strip. The top coat was meant to help protect the strip and keep it from lifting, especially at the tip of the nail, which is where I had my main issue. The tips of the nail strips were lifting within just a day or two of application. Okay, now for my left hand. I did a little bit more there to actually prepare my nails before I applied the strips. So I went ahead and buffed my nails and I also applied a base coat polish before I applied the nail strips. And then I went ahead and did all the same things I did with my right hand, which was to fold over the excess file um, up and down instead of side to side, and then also apply the top coat. So then the question was after I applied them, they looked great. 
would they last? So I went ahead and recorded several different days of diaries over the length of time that I had the strips on so that I could document how they were doing, show you guys what was going on and if I was having any issues or not. So let's go ahead and start looking at those videos and you will find out how long these strips lasted. We are at the end of day two with the new Dashing Diva nail strips on and it's looking good. I gotta say, like there's been no lifting at all whatsoever. Day two is looking good. Light's not so great, but sorry about that. That's one hand. Here's the other. All looking good. I'm liking them. So we'll see how day three goes. So I keep forgetting to do an update and that just basically means everything's going really well. So this is my right hand. Things are still looking good. There's been no lifting, no nothing whatsoever. Everything is sticking. Everything is going really well. There's like no chipping on the ends. I'm really liking these. Here's the left hand. This is day five and we're still going strong. And at this point, I was just feeling it. I was just not having a good time with the nails on day five last time but we're doing really well. So I think we'll keep wearing them and we'll see how long we can go. All right, you guys made it eight days, eight days, two days longer than last time. So I think these things could probably get pretty close to 14 days from a distance. They look pretty good. If you look closer, you can kind of see where there's a little bit of wear, like even on the tips and stuff. But I feel like that's just natural wear from just doing stuff with your nails. Like, washing my hair, doing dishes, just doing work around the house. So here we go with the other hand. I will say this nail, I did just mess it up a little bit. I like scraped it across something and I also messed up this by scraping it across something. This is my dominant hand, so that makes sense that I would do that. But overall, I'm pleased with where we're going and I think I might try these again. Okay, it is day 12 of wearing these Dashing Diva gloss nail strips, and I have to say that I am very pleased and surprised that it lasted this long, that I made it past seven days, because the last set did not even make it to seven days. But I have not had any lifting, I have not had any peeling, I have even scraped a couple of my nails by accident, and the nail strip has not come off or been severely damaged. Now, you can probably see that my tips look a little worn. You can definitely see where there is space between the nail strip and my cuticle, but that happens with any kind of manicure that you get. As you continue wearing it, it starts looking a little worn and you start seeing some nail. So I am not surprised. I'm not disappointed by that because that's just how it naturally happens. So this morning I'm taking the nail strips off even though I haven't had any issues with them. And the reason is I've got another set of nail strips being delivered. It is the Thanksgiving nail set. And as of the taping of this video, I am a week away. No, actually not a week away. It's next week <laughs> that Thanksgiving is happening. So I wanted to be able to wear my Thanksgiving nail strips next week. And I need to give my nails a couple of days of breathing room before I put another set on. So I got to take these off a little early to be able to achieve that. But I'm going to go ahead and link down below a few of my favorite nail strips or a few of the ones that I would like to try for you to be able to take a look and see if you would like to try them because now I am a Dash and Diva fan. This is the way that I will be doing manicures from now on. So you will see if you follow me on Instagram at arelaxgal, you will see me with nails that look like I got a manicure more often now because I have a good option. So it seems like the little things that I did to make the nail strip stay on better helped. Um, I will say that I think putting the top coat on was definitely a big thing that helped with this. Putting the top coat on helps to protect the nail strips and helps them to stay on and not lift. Another thing that helped the nail strips not lift as well was the way that I removed the excess before I just let the nail stay, the nail strip stay straight and then have filed it off that way. But when you take the nail strip and bend it over, it kind of gets a little bit over the tip, which then allows for extra adhesion, I guess. And then if you do the up and down motion, that was, I think, a big difference maker in this whole thing. I don't think putting the base coat on made a big difference at all because I had the base coat on one hand and not on the other and I didn't see any difference in how the nail strips stuck on one hand versus the other. All right, so that's it for this video. 
If you liked it or found it interesting, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well if you're not a subscriber. And before you go, make sure you go ahead and check out this video here. This was my first Dash and Diva video and you'll be able to see how I apply the nails there incorrectly. And so then that way you can apply them correctly yourself when you give them a try. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in this next video.